Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. There is a new Jon Stewart ally that will be added to the game. Let's take a look. Now, we are on the test server. Normally when something gets added on the test server, roughly two weeks later, it gets added on the live server. Although sometimes it could take a bit longer than two weeks. Let us start with where or where will you be able to get the Jon Stewart ally. You will be able to get it from the cyborg vendor for 500 source marks. And that pretty much means that you will be able to get it from the marketplace for 25 bucks. If you buy it from Cyborg, you buy it only for one character, as opposed to if you buy it on the marketplace, then you can redeem it for every single character on your account. And let us uh, summon Jon Stewart. Every idle minute is an advantage for the enemy. Oh, he made old construct for us. So let us go try him out in battle. So let's get into battle and let us summon our friend John Stewart. Green Lantern Light. Oh, and he's gone. Well, let us try that one more time. Engaging hostile threat. So as we saw his combat ability is that he summons a turret and uh, it dazes enemies. But the first passive ability is called the uh, core combo and uh, using a combo ability increases might for 10 seconds and uh, the cooldown is 30 seconds. At maximum rank it will give plus 6% might. And the other passive ability is for the controller role only. Using the group shield uh, ability replaces the shield with a stronger green lantern shield. It also increases your vitality for 12 seconds based on the number of allies uh, shielded. So at maximum rank, your shield will be 35% stronger and your vitalization will be a maximum of 16% stronger. I'm not sure why you would use this ability. Uh, already the shields, uh, especially if you play quantum, your shields are pretty strong to begin with. And yeah, you gain the 16% vitalization. But your group power shield uh, gives you also a power over time. So the shield shields your group and gives your group power over time. As opposed to if you change it for the Green Lantern Shield, the Green Lantern Shield will be 35% stronger and it will give you more vitalization, but it will not restore power over time the same way this one does. So it's a weird trade off, and considering that it takes a lot, a lot, a lot of resources to upgrade your ally to rank 10, I'm not sure it's really worth it to upgrade your ally to rank 10 for this ability. And let us try the ability. So again, it changes your group shield for a Green Lantern Shield. So technically that shield is 35% stronger than your current shield and it, it does give you extra vitalization. But again, usually your shield does give uh, you and all your group power over time. If you play Green Lantern themed character, then yeah, I suppose you could decide to use that shield instead. Although if you're using a Green Lantern type character, you probably want to use the ally instead. When I get called out to other sectors, Nice to know you're here in good old 2814. So you can see it's the exact same model, except uh, for the aura and the size. Uh, the ally is a little bit taller than the, the NPC we have here. And I was a bit surprised when I first summoned the ally that it did not have the aura. There we go, guys. So we have a new Green Lantern ally in the game. So they've added Jon Stewart as an ally in this universe online. Again, this here is the test server. So if all goes well, in about two weeks, we might have the Jon Stewart ally on the live server. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to wait and see for that. 